When we next see Alfonso Davies in a Whitecaps uniform, he will no longer be that fresh-faced 15-year-old. No chance. No chance. The player they call Fonzie is now 16. A typical 16-year-old, maybe even a little shy talking to the girls. I do talk to them sometimes. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to being in front of the camera. They just see me as a regular person. I just go walk around. Sometimes they bug me about it, but usually they don't. What has been amazing is the comfort level he has found in the atmosphere of Major League Soccer. He has made the adjustment to the highest level in play in North America seem easy, while learning what it's like to be a pro from a veteran like Pamo Duca. He should be playing then. I did not know that we were not allowed to wear sandals to, to the training ground. So <laughs> I wore sandals and he looked down when I was putting on my boots and he just, he just let me have it. <laughs> Bright future everybody has, but it's the hard work and the de determination that will prove to you whether you can make it as a pro or not. With his own family in Edmonton, he has found comfort with his West Coast billets, where he is a typical teen. He seems far removed from Liberia and where the Davies family escaped the war-torn country looking for a better life. His oldest brother is still there, along with aunts and uncles. He uses that as fuel. Knowing that we, we fought so hard to come to a country like Canada, that we can be, do, be and do whatever we want and we can't do it back, back in Liberia. It was, it was big motivation to me. He has the motivation and he has created some moments, one in particular that allowed himself to step back and realize he belongs. I think it was when, we played, when I played the game against Seattle. After that game, then I went home, I saw the, saw the, the the highlights and I saw that one, I just got really happy, it's just like, this is, I just felt so amazed. And my mom called me, like the whole family, the whole family called me after the game, they're like, we're really proud of you, uh, we're really happy for what you did, what you're doing, and just keep your head, keep your head level, keep your feet on the ground, just keep, keep doing what you're doing. Keeping his feet on the ground may be as important as continuing to work on his speed of play and his right foot, which is a big part of his off-season plan. His play has not gone unnoticed by the soccer world overseas. Davies is on the radar of a lot of prominent clubs. When an article comes out about me, I just, I just read it and, and just leave it alone after that. I don't really pay too much attention to it because I'm not trying to get distracted. So far it hasn't happened. Maybe that's because much of his life is like a typical teenager. His mom looks after his money. She gives him an allowance. If he wants to buy something, he has to call and ask permission. For now, he's a high school student and a soccer player who is unaffected. My last six, month, six months has been fun. It certainly has for all of us. With the Vancouver Whitecaps, I'm Perry Salkelton.